So I think I'm gonna start my own business. You know, get fake IDs and shit. Man, you know how the king is about that sort of thing. Man, fuck the king! He can't monopolize this business forever and he knows it. Remember what happened to old Ferris when he tried to start his own gig? Yeah, yeah. He got rubbed out by the king. But this time, man, this time it's different. You the king? You the sap who broke my beers? I wanted to meet. Well, for $200 of fine alcohol, this better be good. I want to join your operation. That's it? You break my beers, get Ronson here to drag you in, waste my time with the meat, all so you can just ask to join my operation? There are a lot better ways of asking that, my friend. Wait, I have information. What information? Information about Alice Fletcher. How do you know about Alice Fletcher? Bring me in and I'll tell you. I have a feeling you won't want anyone else to know what I know. All right, I'll think about bringing you in. But you owe me for the beers. And you owe me the information about Alice Fletcher. What's that? What are you doing? Nothing. I was just... Give me that. What the fuck is that? What did you do? No, it's not. I, I didn't mean to. Get the fucking kid in the car and bag him. Let's go. We gotta disappear. What in the hell was that? Insurance. <laughs> God, you sure have a knack for getting people into trouble. I could use that. You still want into my operation? Ransom. There's a party tomorrow night at nine. Here's the address. I'll let you know there whether things are gonna work or not. Michael, what happened? Did the cops get the king? No, they are about to bring me in when you called them. I tried to text you, but the muscle took my phone away. Oh, I'm sorry. Forget it. They're probably gonna take me in anyway, but it doesn't matter anymore. I think the king killed Alice, and I think I know why. Why? I'll tell you later. Right now I need a favor. Yeah, what is it? Are you still in touch with your cousin, the drug dealer? Yeah? Why? I need you to get me something. Get the stuff? Yeah. Good. Remember, the party starts at 9, so we'll be there by 9.15. Mingle and drink or so for about an hour, and then be out of there by 10.15. That means you should put a call into the cops around the same time. Try to use a payphone if you can. I don't want them recognizing your number and think it's a prank call after what happened last night. And no texting bullshit this time. This needs to go down exactly as planned. You never told me why you think the king did it. You're right. Well, it's pretty simple, actually. You remember how you told me the king has the alcohol market cornered? Yeah. Well, it seems he takes his monopoly pretty seriously. When I was being taken to the king, I heard a couple of his thugs talking. It seems one of their own tried to start his own business and didn't make it so far. 
rubbed out by the king. Yeah. What does that have to do with Alice? Fake ID. see you at 10 o'clock. Until then, take a seat, have a drink. Welcome to my operation. Can I eat you something else to drink? Um, sure. A beer. What are you doing? Oh. Uh, what is this? What are you doing? I, uh... What is it? <clears throat> Out of beer. To your new edition. My new edition. What in the hell is this? This is me taking you down. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm just paying you back for killing Alice Fletcher. What? After I found her dead in her dorm room, I decided to find out who did it, and that was you. It was pretty easy, in fact. Alice Fletcher's dead? Of course she's dead. You killed her. No, I didn't. Th th why were you so interested in the information I had about her? You killed her because she had a fake ID, because she wanted to start her own- I was interested in the information because she didn't show up the other day for lunch. God, you're such a fucking idiot. She had the fake ID because... Oh. Holy sh- Michael? Michael? Hello?